Alright, this is an unboxing video. I just got this from Amazon and I started without you guys. Um, forgot to start the camera before, so. Got the box open anyway, but that's as far as I got before I realized to turn the camera on. And we'll keep going here. Um, this is actually from the uh, warehouse deals at Amazon, so. I'll be surprised to see what kind of shape this uh, package is. And it actually is a knife, I already know what's in here, so. We'll take that, take this out. All right, <clears throat> get rid of that box. Yeah. All right, and this is what I got. And I'll zoom in for you guys. I'm parting my hand here, and it looks like I'm. Yeah, I'm actually in focus. Well, enough in focus anyway. We'll try it anyway. Hey, and you get to listen to all that noise while it goes in and out of focus. All right, I got a buck one ten. That was thirty bucks. And I can't, uh, I can't complain too much, so. Oh, that's already all open. So that thing aside, that's a piece of cheap, cheap knife. Alright, let's see what's in here. Hmm. Alright, got the box. Throw that aside, don't need that anymore. The leather sheath. I wonder what this is. Ooh, it looks like it's a message from the Buck family and their warranty card. If you can read that, great. If not, oh well. And we'll take a look at the shelf here. Sheath, however you want to say it. Nice leather. It says it's made in Mexico. Well, not a big deal. The nice made in the United States. For the 110, it's actually quite nice. Actually, it is quite nice, and if you look inside, and we'll see if we can get that in focus there. It says made in Mexico. Quite nice, a nice generous belt loop here. So, that'll come in handy. And it is quite, quite sturdy. And the knife, again, remember this is a factory Amazon warehouse deal, so it was a purchased and returned. Yeah, there are fingerprints on it and already, but otherwise, I don't see any damage. Not too worried about the brass being a little fingerprinted up. I'll polish that out. Quite nice. The wood's quite nice. Well, now let's see the blade. All right. Doesn't look like there's any damage to the blade at all, which is good. This looks like the person bought it, got it, and didn't like it and decided to return it. And the reason they said it was a warehouse deal is because of damage to the box. And you can see the box is all damaged. And again, big deal. Very nice. Nice locking system here. Push down back here. That goes in. And I know it's a way you can do this. I'm not very good at it. Well, we'll try it. Yeah, you can do it that way. Okay, I know what Huck was telling me about. Now, let's see how sharp it is. I'm going to say it's pretty sharp just feeling it with my fingers. So now we'll see. It's a pretty piece of uh, printer paper. Holy crap, is that sharp. Oops. I caught it there. It's a little bit harder when you're cutting into a cut area already. Oh, let's go this side. Very nice. I'll do a little bit of sharpening, get rid of uh, any burrs that might be on here because it feels like there are a couple when I'm cutting it. Not a big deal. Actually, I'll just need the the paper portion to sharpen. I want to put a stone to it. I'll just take and use paper to give it a nice honing. As you can see, cuts very nicely. <laughs> hey, I got some more paper here. Oh, you, you can watch me cut some more even. Oops. Yeah, it looks like it's back toward the 
the handle that's a little bit rough because it does catch so there you go the buck 110 I'm very very pleased with it if I can oh there it is I'll give you a rough idea of the weight on this too because it is quite hefty and you have to pardon this digital scale and you have to take my word for it it is about eight ounces about eight ounces so quite quite uh, hefty for a knife for a carry knife you know I prefer about half that about four ounces or less but hey it's a buck and I don't have a buck so that's that's quite nice alright Thanks for watching.